All right, welcome back to Great Day at 9A. What do you know about reptiles? And how much do your kids know about reptiles? That's a good question. All right, you can all learn, or we can all learn a little more at the only reptile zoo <laughs> in the state. Marcy Jones is live at Riverside Reptile Education Center to check it all out. Hey, Marcy. We're here. Hey guys, you know, just a little while ago we mentioned and we're gonna meet Brenda. Guess what? We are here with the strong independent woman herself. Brenda is a? American alligator. I love it. Yes. And why is her name Brenda? Because uh, I named her after my mom. I love that. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about Brenda. She's so cute. Yeah, so she turned 38 years old this year. Uh, alligators can live as long as humans, 80 to 100 years. Wow. Um, she is about eight and a half feet long and weighs just under 200 pounds right now. Okay, what are her likes, dislikes, personality, <laughs> temperament? Um, she's hot and cold. Uh, she loves you when you're feeding her. Uh, if you're not feeding her and <clears throat> mates and... She's same with yeah. me. That's the same. I'm yeah. totally food motivated. If you're, if you're maintaining the enclosure, um, she doesn't really like you in there. Oh, got it. Okay. This is so interesting. So where did we get Brenda from? Um, she came from a zoo up in northern Massachusetts where they only have outdoor enclosures. So they need to ship their alligators south for the winter and then bring new alligators up in the spring. And we happened to intercept this one. I love it. Just a little while ago, we saw you tossing her some gator biscuits. Yes, yeah, delicious. What else does she like to eat? Um, we feed her a lot of whole body food. So she eats uh, whole rats, um, pre-killed, of course. We don't feed them any live food. Yep. Um, uh, chicken, rabbit, uh, occasionally we get roadkill deer, so she loves a good venison treat. Wow, very nice. All right, so this is such a cool spot. As you mentioned a little bit earlier, people don't really realize how big it is, the variety that you have. You also have the ability to host, you know, birthday parties, get-togethers. That's really cool. Yeah, we have a special room, a classroom for field trips, uh, birthday parties, scout groups. Mm -hmm. um, this Saturday also, we're opening up a new exhibit called the Bug Cave. Uh, we're having wow. we have tarantulas and scorpions and other uh, some creepy crawly insects some really fascinating animals there and that will be open this Saturday. Is it fun for you to see people come in be a little nervous a little hesitant but then as they learn more about these creatures that they weren't super familiar with they start to ease up or start to understand and get excited about them? Yeah of course I mean the biggest thrill of uh, Owning a place like this is seeing the reaction to the public when they come in yeah. here. And you know, people that are hesitant or scared of animals, once they start learning more about them, their fear seems to, you know, starts to dissipate and they, you know, they start to like them and be more curious about them. That's gotta be so gratifying because that means you're doing your job, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. I love it. Now, we have to talk a little bit about the King Cobra that you have. Yes. This is the only King Cobra in the state of Connecticut. Yes. It's so the that's only, it's the only King Cobra on display. It's a very big right. brag, Brian. In the condos. But the king cobra is a female named? Her name is Eve. Uh, Where did you get that? Um, she came to me on New Year's Eve, uh, uh, 2020, right, right actually at midnight. Oh, okay, so not, so. not Bible related, just New yeah, Year's Eve? <laughs> New Year's Eve. So we, we named her Eve. And <clears throat> she's about uh, five years old. And uh, <clears throat> just I got to ask, long. because it's a king cobra, but it's a female, is she a queen cobra? <laughs> she thinks she's the queen, but yeah. I mean, we share that in common. Is Eve friendly? Um, no, <laughs> no, she's not friendly. Um, king cobras, um, sometimes they can be friendly, sometimes they can be quite Got temperamental. Got it, yep. It, that's kind of uh, like humans, you know? We, Everybody's different. Exactly. We treat her with the utmost respect. Um, very venomous snake, so we have yes. certain protocols when we're dealing with Eve. How do you feed Eve? Um, we put her in a special shift box, which is behind this enclosure, and it has a door, so we can close her in that shift oh, box. Oh, yeah. We put her food out, and then we'll open it up, and she can go out. It just the makes it. The little door is just another level of protection, so she's yes. comfortable and you're comfortable. Exactly. Keeps Got everybody it. safe. I love that. Uh, for anybody who's interested in visiting, which I'm sure a lot of folks out there right now, give us your hours and your location so people know how to do that. Uh, we're at 132 South Road in Enfield, Connecticut. We're open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 to 4, and anytime there's no school, on a Monday, we will be open on a Monday. So for Indigenous People Day, Columbus Day, we will be open. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks this has been visiting. so much fun. Guys, sending it back to you. Come on down. Riverside awesome. Reptiles, so much fun. Head up to Enfield or over to Enfield, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. What a great place to bring the kiddos, especially Monday. Yeah, fantastic. All right.